slide shares. <coughs> uh, we're getting, we're finding there's a lot of debate about the Facebook ads at the moment, uh, whether they're actually worth it. Like we do, we see when we launched, we launched with Sainsbury's in Northern Ireland there about three weeks ago. So I was kind of in a predicament: how am I going to market to people in Belfast? I, I'm not going to be able to get up there for another couple of weeks. Uh, so we took out a, a generic advert targeted to um, our target market, say women between women or men between the ages of say 20 to 40, 45 that lived in Belfast. Then we did another one which was more targeted um, to people with healthy eating interests, say walking, surfing, um, and then another one targeted to Weight Watchers. Then we actually targeted competitors, so anybody that liked say the age of four and that lived in Belfast or anyone that liked um, you know, Lily McCartney's or uh, Polly and Sully, say for instance, that lived in Belfast. Um, we had about 10 different ads going, so you can kind of see quite quickly what ones are working and what ones need to be cut from your insights. And we actually found, you know, the healthy eating targets were the ones with the most response, the most clicks, and the most likes. Um, it's kind of it's easy to play around with and set up if you use Google Chrome. You can upload uh, through Facebook Power Editor ads quite easily and you can make changes quite really quickly. So once we let those ads go for, <coughs> I'd say about two days, it was probably cost about 200 euros and we ended up getting about 600 likes from the Belfast area. So we could stop the ads and then use a promoted post. So that would reach friends of fans. So now for a promoted post, Promoted posts are quite, um, they're not, not very expensive, but from that we could actually reach loads and loads of people from the new people that had just liked the page. So yeah, that's the, the price news, the Tesco with the new pops on there. And if you, if you go onto the Facebook page later though, you can, you can see it. Um, so we got some really, really good response where people had actually emailed them saying that, look, oh, our, you were in Thames Street in Hollywood, uh, we went in today and we bought them for our dinner. Now along with that, we've, we've actually printed off 20,000 brochures uh, with recipes for using our products and we've done a leaflet drop in Belfast. There's 12 stores in Northern Ireland. So we have targeted the areas to the ABC1 areas that are living around the same three supermarkets. So what that gives people is just information on the products, the, the, are the benefits of the products, and ideas for recipes so they can uh, use them at home. department so I just have my smartphone so like I think well the, the key for, for my business is that I want to answer a customer pretty much straight away if they post something on my Facebook page. I don't want to go, oh I'm finished work at five o'clock now, I'm not going to answer that person until tomorrow. A very easy point is kind of social media, if someone posts something up it's going to be there in their timeline. If you wait two or three days to get back to them, it's going to be gone, they're going to have forgotten about it. Um, but you know it is really fast. Um, and you do, but you do kind of have to be careful, say on Twitter, you know, what you're actually endorsing. Like I remember once a friend of mine actually owns Butchers down in Cantwerk, Jack McCarthy, and he had won some award for his black pudding. So I was like, oh, congratulations on your award, you know, Jack, that's great. And a load of vegans came out of the woodwork going, why are you, why are you saying that? Like that's, you shouldn't be saying that, you can't be supporting that. I was like, no, it's just a businessman, it's your friend. And, um, you know, but uh, there is stuff like that that can quickly go uh, kind of crazy on Twitter if, 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 you're, if you're not careful. Um, how many of you are actually on, on Twitter? Yeah, so what, what annoys you about companies? Like, do you hate getting like a real hard sell when someone's like, oh, this is like a special offer now today, and they're not like communicating, it's just push, push, push with no real interaction? I think a lot of companies would be quickly unfollowed if, if that was their strategy. Um, so 
because you can mute people now on Twitter, so they don't even know, like you don't know that they're not following you, you still think that you're getting their updates, but if you don't make it interesting, people will just mute you and it's not going to work, and you've actually no way of knowing if that's happening, because your follower list is still the same as it was. Did you school lunches out? Do you target that market at all? Um, no, we don't. Like our initial target was um, like working, working women, people that we really don't have time to kind of cook healthy from scratch. So people are constantly on the go and just want something like just put in the microwave. Um, no, we're not working on kids at the moment. Uh, they're kind of our, I think a lot of companies um, that are doing that really well, like Ellis Kitchen and. They're kind of more specialists, so we would be kind of more, um, more adult oriented. I think. Just wondering, Adam, when we create a post, a small post, I'm not a small post, and how many other 2,800 of those will find you there in the um, I'll just, I'll just see can I log in there actually, um, with the staff people. It depends on the post. <coughs> Pictures seem to be going very well at the moment, so they seem to get more likes. But then they've they've done something uh, weird again. So it changes constantly. So what might work one week might work the next week. They seem to be looking more now at text interactions. I think they're getting a bit sick of people just putting up pictures. Um, I think it may be moving to uh, companies maybe having a separate stream. So you know when you go in your timeline now, a lot of it is you know like this picture to enter this competition and it's getting kind of boring there's a whole lot of clutter there and I think it might be working to uh, separate out the feeds maybe um, but I'm not sure uh, so promoted post seems to be working for us um, so you can see here um, yeah like you can definitely see it so but what i have found with the promote post is if you promote it directly from the facebook page like i've had people like to post from the philippines and stuff but there's some kind of crazy um um i don't know where that's coming from uh, so yeah some of them i don't think are genuine likes so i don't know uh how that you can maybe stop it to location just promote it in ireland but you need to you can't, don't promote it from the page, you need to go back and then create an actual advert um, to target it. Um, like we see here, like the album I put up yesterday, 859 people saw that. Um, the hype, I hate vegetables, one I put up on Sunday, uh, 969 people saw it. Now, I promoted that for four euros, and the one yesterday wasn't promoted, so maybe about a 50% increase. That was promoted, paid reach, yeah, 1,500 people. And we got like eight to nine. Is the saw that I came up with a news feed? Pardon? Is that what saw means that I came up with a news feed? Yeah, yeah. Um, <coughs> so, this yeah, is. Are they pushing companies to try and start using the same post? Well, they say they're not. They say um, it's. It will actually come up if you have interesting content and it goes back to who's liked your stuff in the past or who's interacted with your page in the past. Now, I have noticed, like, the odd time we would do a giveaway, say, a hamper, a competition. I've only done about two or three of those because what I find is a load of people just come on the page, they just like the picture. Um, and I've said, I will be announcing the winner on the Facebook page. I don't say I'm going to email somebody. So, <clears throat> so I've had two competitions. I'll announce the winner on the Facebook page. You know, you need to contact me then to claim your prize, just to test and see are people actually staying on the page and they're not because they're just coming for the competition and then they're going. Um, because if they were in track, they would have seen their name being tagged as a winner of the competition and they haven't come back. So I don't really know how those like and share go to competitions. I don't think they really work very well. Um, so they just photo. So when somebody clicked on the photo, the number of likes. Um, the number of shares. So that was just that was just a, a photo there. I suppose something I think studies show supermarkets are over promoting unhealthy foods. So this is kind of an industry comment I did um, 
And I have actually written to some of the supermarkets saying, you know, your special offers is just full of pizzas and frozen wedges and, you know, it's not really promoting healthy lifestyle. Can you do some really good offers on vegetables? And that got uh, 1,500 uh, people saw it. Um, organic, 1479, and viral, 42, and two shares. So I think it's because uh, people have kind of commented on it. Um, Emma, Claire, <coughs> Laura, just some ideas about stuff. Um, so I think that's how it goes forward when people are actually interacting with it and commenting rather than just someone liking a photo. I think if you can get people to comment, um, you will get more uh, exposure in Facebook. Uh, this is the Super Valley post. So this was a promoted post um, on Facebook. So that was 27,080 people saw that post. So it was paid, the amount of paid from that was 26,000. Organic was 4304 and viral was 3075. So you can see the page for that like really worked because we just wanted people in Wexford to see it, that our products were for sale there. We didn't necessarily want any interaction with the post. Um, we just wanted it to come up in their, on their timelines as an ad, just say, look, if you live in Wexford, you can get our stuff in Super Value. Um, we had four shares, 88 people liked it. Um, and then we had some customers that came back and said they got they bought the products and they really liked them. I mean that's kind of what you want. That that that's kind of gold. Um, and that I put two hundred euros into that ad and it ran over three days. So I yeah I did the promotion post and I actually had this as an advert as well. So not just a, a sponsored post. If I can go into the insights. Right, so you can kind of see where the, the where I was promoting the post last week. So we got a lot of reach, three hundred seventy-five thousand people reached. Um, you can see the post about the healthy eating. So I know lots of my customers are actually interested in that. So I might do more posts than that. Um, today I'm going to work on a healthy eating uh, recipes and for a family of four for breakfast, lunch, dinner and snacks on a budget. So I'm going to provide the recipes um, and a shopping list. And I think it will probably come in around 60 euros for the week. Um, but I'll have that later. So we'll see what the response is because there's already like 20 people talking about that. 51 people are engaged with that post. The same way yesterday at uh, Vegetarian Butcher, 135 people. So people are interested in uh, more meat alternatives. Um, we go back, there's the, that was the paid ad there. Um, let's see if we can look at what else worked. Um, oh yeah, we did a recipe as well. So last night's uh, vegan party food. So it seems to work that people really like recipes and post and post about recipes and healthy eating. So from those insights, I can kind of form my strategy. If, if it's a post about where something is stopped or a new listing, I would promote that on the page because I just want it to uh, come up in someone's timeline. Um, and if people see that as a then if one of their friends likes it, you kind of do get um, a bit of a viral buzz going about it. And it, it does, you can't really see how many people you know, are interacting with it, but you kind of have a good idea of saying you know, 30,000 people saw this post. You know, without actually interacting with it. Uh, for a more promotional post, if I wanted to um, say do an advert, okay. This one I actually did as an, as an advert because I wanted to get customers that were interested in a vegan party food or vegan recipes to come onto the page and hopefully interact more with the page. So I did that as an advert um, and which I actually